our cardio app is mostly filled with one type of view, a card view. We're gonna start off creating this basic card view with an amazing animal drawing on it, but instead of reaching for the familiar storyboard, we're going to design this view with a nib. A nib file is a lot like a storyboard, but instead of being based on scenes, which equate to view controllers, nibs are really designed for working with views themselves. Xcode even calls the file template a view. Let's put one of those in the card view folder in the starter project. Hit Command N to bring up the template chooser and pick view under user interface. And name it card view as well. The file extension is XIB. The X is for XML, which is how the nib file is represented when you're designing it, just like with the storyboard. The IB is for interface builder. It's only after the zib gets compiled that it becomes a nib, and that's why, later on in this course, you'll see that the APIs for working with this type of file all use the terminology nib, not zib. Originally, the file format was also NIB, which stood for Next Interface Builder, Next being Steve Jobs' company when the format was created. You might think there's some kind of chocolate theme going on, what with the Coco framework. Maybe they were intended to be Coco nibs? But probably not. Interface Builder was released in the late 1980s, long before Xcode, and 13 years before Coco made its debut with Mac OS X in 2001. This view is going to represent the front of a card. It's not going to need to use safe area layout guides, and it's going to be square, so in the Attributes Inspector, change size from Inferred to Freeform. Choose 1000 by 1000 in the Size Inspector. That's somewhat bigger than it will be on an iPad Pro, which will help later when designing scalable text. The front of the card is going to need two image views. Drag one of those onto the view and hit Command-D to duplicate it. For each of those in the document outline, right-click drag to the super view, hold shift, and choose center horizontally and vertically in container and equal widths and heights. Name the one on top background view and use the textured yellow gradient for it. That'll show up better after we get the other image view working. For that one, let's create a custom class. And let's do that in a new Swift file in the card view folder. Name the file front card view. And make sure to import UI kit. Now, you will create the front card view class momentarily, but for now, create front card image view. That ought to be a nested class inside a front card view, but nested classes don't work with Interface Builder. What does work with Interface Builder are IB inspectables, such as an IB inspectable UI image variable called mask image. Marking a property with the IB inspectable attribute will allow you to set a value for it in the attributes inspector, as we'll see in a moment. But we also want to do something with the mask image. After it's set, we want it to become the mask for front card image view itself. And we can do that with a property observer, creating a new image view based on the mask image. In order to see that take effect in Interface Builder, we'll need one more attribute, IB Designable. You can apply that to any UI view subclass that you need to. Now head back to the nib. Select Image View and in its Identity Inspector, set its class to Front Card Image View. And then in the Attributes Inspector, set its image to Purple Gradient. Above that is the mask image. You can set it to any animal, but I'm just going to go with the first one. The whole front card view should have rounded corners, and we can preview those in Interface Builder 2 after a little work. 
First, in the UI view extension file we've created for you, create a round corners method. We'll say that a card radius is one sixth of either dimension of the card. Bounds.maxx works for that. Assign that to layer.corner radius. We won't be getting into core animation layers in this course. All you'll need to know for now is that this is an easy way to get round corners on your views in iOS. Now in the card view folder, create a card view class which derives from UI view. Overwrite its layout subviews method. This method gets called whenever a view needs to recalculate the frames of its subviews, which is the right place to round the card's corners. Call super first, and then do that. To see the effect in Interface Builder, make card view IB designable. Card view is actually going to be an abstract class, which means that it's never going to be instantiated directly. Instead, you'll make two classes that inherit from it in this course. They'll both need to store a card. There's not much to a card, which is a model and a value type. Each one just has a name and can load an image with that name. The first subclass you'll be working with will be front card view. Now, go back to the nib and in the Identity Inspector for the top level view, assign the class to be Front Card View. To see the rounded corners, just check Clip to Bounds in the Attributes Inspector. Now, I'll hit Command 0 and Option Command 0 to get more room for what we're about to do. Hit Shift-Command-O to access the Open Quickly menu, select Front Card view swift and then hit Option-Enter to bring it up in the Assistant Editor. Now, right-click drag from the Front Card Image view that's currently called Purple Gradient, and make an outlet in Front Card view. Just call it Image view. If your reference is set to weak here, go ahead and change it to Strong. That should be your default. And then override card, adding a did set observer. When a card gets set, forward its image along to be used as a mask. That way you'll always see the same purple on yellow color scheme, but with different drawings. So now you've got a nib. Next, you'll learn how to use it in an app.